If you love dogs, this is information you should know before you pet a dog you don't know. There is a rare but real risk a dog could kill you or make you very sick without even biting you. Christine Phillips for the Washington Post reported a bacteria commonly found in dogs and cats and present in saliva of most healthy dogs in rare cases can poison your blood and kill you. This bacteria is Capnocytophaga cani morsis. Kashmir Gander for Newsweek reported as many as 74% of dogs and 57% of cats have this bacteria in their mouth. Greg Mantufel was a healthy 48-year-old house painter in Wisconsin who loved riding his Harley-Davidson motorcycle. He had been around eight different dogs, including his own dog, before he became very sick. His illness began with flu-like symptoms, fever and vomiting. The next morning, he was delirious. He was suffering from a rare blood infection from Capnocytophaga cani morsis from a dog's saliva that entered his bloodstream leading to sepsis or blood poisoning. Doctors pumped him with antibiotics but clots blocked blood flow to his extremities causing tissue and muscles to die. To save his life, doctors amputated both legs from the knee down and his hands. He was in the hospital about a month undergoing several surgeries to remove dead tissue and muscles from what was left of his lower extremities. He will need rehabilitation and prosthetic limbs. He can no longer ride his Harley or paint houses. Phillips revealed another case reported in the medical journal BMJ of an elderly woman who may have been licked by her pet leading to sepsis and organ failure. Capnocytophaga cani morsis has been called the lick of death. Mantafil was not bitten by a dog. Saliva from a dog is believed to have infected him with the bacteria. Capnocytophaga cani morsis is commonly transmitted by dog bites. 58-year-old Sharon Larson's new puppy bit her, causing a small cut. She came down with flu-like symptoms. Two days later, she died of an infection. She tested positive for Capnocytophaga. Gander reported for Newsweek that about 1 in 10 people who get infected with this bacteria die. It tends to be an opportunistic infection. People with weakened immune systems are at greatest risk. Some risk factors for life-threatening infection include alcoholism and not having a spleen or having a spleen that does not function normally. Mantafil and Larson did not appear to have those risks. Before you pet a dog you do not know or allow it to lick your hand or face, Remember, the risk may be rare, but there is a risk because this bacteria may be present in saliva of most healthy dogs.